Okay, to wrap up chapter 11, looking at the cost of living, we start talking about interest rates a little bit in this chapter. And more specifically, real versus nominal interest rates. Well, let's revisit what interest rates are altogether. Interest rates are essentially uh, two things here. So interest rates are first, the price you pay to use money you don't have. So like credit cards. Um, interest rates on student loans. You're using money that you don't have. There's a price to that and that's the interest rate. Now a lot of people typically know that. Typical American know that. That takes money away from you. That's why there's a big minus there. So interest rates are first the price you pay to use money you don't have. Now where am I trying to get you? I'm trying to get you to the second thing that interest rates are. The price you get so you receive for not using your own money. You can put it in the bank, you can put it in the market, you can earn some interest on it. That is a positive. So interest can actually work in your favor, especially compounding interest over time. We'll have a chapter coming up where we start talking about retirement. You guys have an awesome opportunity to either blow it or retire early, so stay tuned. Um, this is your first kind of step towards that. Real versus nominal interest rates. So now we know interest rates are essentially just a price. They're a price. And as a price, either the price you pay to use money you don't have or the price you get to not use your own money from the bank, um, it's a price. And prices are subject to inflation. Okay? Now, real prices, if you remember from before, because we talked about real and nominal prices in the last chapter talking about GDP, have no inflation. All right? Nominal prices or nominal interest rates include inflation. It's just whatever the market rate is today, but that doesn't tell you what it was last year and how much inflation there was. And we know now from the, both the GDP chapter and now the CPI chapter that inflation can be very misleading. It can affect your cost of living. So if your retirement's not earning enough money and your cost of living is going up fast, you may not be able to retire. Definitely want to not be in that situation. So uh, the book defines essentially, if you read the definition, Real interest rates are, are, are the equivalent of nominal interest rates minus the inflation. Remember, nominal interest rates have inflation. If you take inflation out of them, you have a real interest rate. I just abbreviated for interest of times. So interest rate is IR here. Nominal interest rates then are real inflation rates. So those are the ones without inflation plus inflation. So nominal includes inflation. Real interest rates do not include inflation. And then conversely, if you want to be clever about it, you could figure out what inflation is if you take nominal, which includes inflation, and take out the real interest rate. So if you took real prices and subtracted, or excuse me, if you took nominal prices and subtracted the real price, you would have inflation. And again, interest rates are a price, man. They're the price you pay, negative, to use money you don't have. Let's try to limit that moving forward. And it is the price you get for not using for not using your own money. So you want to make money, have some left over, put it in savings, let compounding interest do its do its thing, and quit buying crap you can't afford. All right? That's the value of an education at a school like SMC. We don't overcharge you. So you can get the same education, get out there and earn money, earn interest, compounding interest. You understand GDP, now you understand CPI. You can get out there and ask for the raise that you deserve because you're getting smarter. And when you get smarter, people have to pay you more for your time. So you're going to get a job offer. They're going to have to pay you more. You can buy more things. So here we are back where we started, pushing our cart around Costco. And the big question is, are you paying attention to inflation? Can you put more things in that cart or less? Hopefully after this chapter, you can answer that question. Now you know what real and nominal interest rates are. They're just prices. Real, no inflation. Nominal, it's just today's price includes inflation. Good chat.